to um, this month's uh, net winding event, and I'm sure you read the website, and you know all about it, or some of I recognize some familiar faces as well. And so the uh, the idea is we're putting networking and wine tasting together, so we call it net winding, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and um, so the format is we'll uh, open with a speaker. I'm going to introduce in just a moment. Then we'll have the wine tasting and some unique networking as well. My name is Rich Casanova, the founder of netwinding.com. Also, my new title is now the <laughs> Dave, my best friend Dave over here. Yeah. Yeah, now the pressure's on. Look at your friends. He's going to start to wave here in a second. Yeah, cut him off. Have you been serving it daily? Yeah. Good friend of mine, yeah. So, um, oh, silence your phones. That's a good uh, point if you haven't already done so. And what else? Um, which is the chief whining officer. Yeah. That's not with an H, by the way. Yeah. The, the, but we do have both domain names, and if you're in the H crowd, yeah, well, then we got a separate room just for y'all, yeah. So um, we got a lot of entrepreneurs. Here's the promise I'll make to you tonight, which is kind of unique to an after-hours event. Before everyone leaves tonight, they're going to know exactly what you do, and you're going to know what they do. A lot of times in an after-hours social mixture, it's great. You see 500 people in the room, but your best client could be across the room. You never make a chance to connect. So we're going to make sure that happens tonight. And uh, to get things underway, uh, I want to introduce... A uh, good friend of mine, Ariel, and uh, originally from Romania, right? So if you read his LinkedIn profile and some information, I think he's going to bring something new to Net Whiting, which, by the way, we try to uh, bring a speaker in each month that gives a little takeaway, creates a little buzz and conversation amongst us. Somebody got that one. Yeah. <laughs> the wine doesn't work, whatever, yeah. So, um, but Ariel is... Um, has won some awards from Toastmasters, and if you have, if you've never been to a Toastmasters event, it's not just about getting up and speaking in front of a crowd. It's about your interpersonal communication skills, and you can learn a, a ton of stuff from Toastmasters. So he's a big fan, a big proponent of that. And um, but what he's going to, I think, talk about, I'm going to turn it over to it in just a second, is about using the skill of public speaking to advance your business. And if you get motivated and excited, you want to be in front of a crowd, whether it's a few or many. This is the man that's going to give us some pointers and tips here this evening. So how about a round of applause for Ariel, ladies and gentlemen. So how many people here want more clients for your business? Let me see you. Okay, that's just about everybody. And uh, how many people here want to have more fun in your business? Let me hear you. Come on. Okay, good, good, good. Now, uh, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge you for being here. Now, I can't reach all of you, so I want you to do me a favor. I want you to reach out both hands. Turn to your neighbor, pat him on the back, and tell them, congratulations for being here. Congratulations for being here. Excellent. So, <laughs> that was very good. Tonight we're going to talk about, uh, about uh, having fun. We're also going to talk about generating more clients. Specifically, we're going to talk about becoming the entre speaker. Now, that is officially a, a, a term that I coined. And just like Donald Trump, I'm going to go ahead and copyright it. So uh, you guys are, are, are more than, um, um, you know, to me, this is, I'm really honored to have such a wonderful group of people because I've been uh, coming to Rich's events for a couple of uh, months now. And this is a really, really wonderful uh, occasion. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the way we're going to be able to carry on this evening is, first of all, I'm going to teach you as much as I can in about 30 minutes. And then uh, after that, I'm going to uh, provide a way, for those of you guys that are interested, I'm going to provide a way for you to uh, take the training uh, further. So uh, is everybody ready to play at level 10? If you are, go ahead and put your hand on your heart and say, I'm ready to play at level 10. I'm ready to play at level 10. Okay, that was about a six. Let's try one more time. <laughs> say, I'm ready to play at level 10. I'm ready to play at level 10. So let's get started. So first thing, first thing that um, I want to kind of uh, talk to you guys a little bit about is uh, I want to, with, with your permission, I want to tell you just a little bit about myself and my background. Um, I came here from uh, Romania in 1984, and in 1984, um, it was not as easy as saying, you know, like the movie Coming to America. Hey, I think I'm going to go to America. No, it was a communist country, and there's only two ways to escape from the communist regime. One of them was to swim across the Danube River and risk getting shot. A lot of people actually, you know, sad to say, that they didn't make it. Or the second option was to, to do a political revolt against the government. And my father, you know, he had 
a family to look after, and for 35 days, he did not eat anything at all. He did a 35-day hunger strike. So I get to be here with you, and I don't, I don't take it for, for granted. Mm -hmm. So I get here in 1984, and I gotta be honest, things were not always uh, roses and waterfalls at the house. A lot of times uh, there was uh, issues, anger. You know, my dad would be oftentimes working for minimum wage to provide for his family. So uh, I was very, very uh, introverted as, as a child. And so much so to when I was 17 years old, I had to do a presentation for the country of Colombia. And I remember I got up in front of the class and I had a, a really cool poster and I was ready to go. And, and then as soon as I saw people, it was like deer, headlights, you know, like not one word was spoken. Not a hello, how are you doing? Nothing, just absolute blank. And I sat back down and it was, this was at Meadow Creek High School in the trailer, I sat back down and I was, I was angry, I was uh, upset, I was embarrassed, but I did something more important. I, I, I said, I'm gonna do something about it tonight. And I didn't know what that was yet, but I, I, I went to, a, to the public library that day and I, I got introduced to a gentleman, his name is Tony Robbins. Now, uh, everybody, who hasn't heard of Tony Robbins? Right, I, I didn't think any hands would go up for that. So. I got introduced to Tony Robbins, and I, I walked out, you know, I'm still very introverted, but I'm walking out with all these oh, personal power and tapes and books, all this stuff, uh, outside, and I, I, I take it to my house, and for about the next six hours, I just listen to Tony's tapes, and I'm reading this book called Awaken the Giant Within, right? And so, at that, um, there, I felt something there where I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the phone, and I signed up for my first... Tony Robbins seminar at the age of 17. Now, I didn't know what, what, what that was gonna be all about, but that uh, introduced me to my life's calling. So at the age of 17, I became a public speaking coach. And this is something that to this day is still, you know, it, I haven't mastered it or perfected it, but I've created a little niche for myself where I work with uh, entrepreneurs specifically, and I teach them how to, like Rich was saying, to advance their business, to grow their business uh, from the stage. So um, I've had really, uh, really diverse uh, clients in the past. Some of them you might uh, recognize from a, really a, a privilege to work with a lot of different uh, um, professionals. But later on, it was the entrepreneur that really, really uh, stood out and was uh, speaking to me. So uh, tonight, we're going to go ahead and, and we're going to get started in the teaching portion right now. Now, let me ask you guys a question. What, what's more effective? Selling one-on-one -on -one or one-on-50? What do you guys think? One-on-50, one -on right? Because, you know, you get to uh, uh, approach more people. You're in front of more people. So by us knowing that, I'd like to find out um, how many people here gave a presentation uh, within the last 30 days in front of a group of people. Raise your hand. Okay, that's 40% of the room. That's, that's quite a few of you. And uh, what I'd like to also know is how many people actually monetize that presentation in some way or fashion. Okay, all right, awesome. So that's the, that's the goal. And I want you to know that even if you're not a public speaker, this could work for you. This is not, you know, this, you don't have to be a speaker, an author, or a coach for this to, to work. So, of course, you gotta get your message out, you're gonna increase your uh, clientele, revenue, all that good stuff, referrals. So everybody's kind of in agreement that, okay, it makes more sense to do the one on 50, right? Okay, right? Right. <laughs> what a good crowd. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of uh, talk a little bit about some uh, techniques, because what we wanna do is we want to be as engaging as possible up here. So, First thing I want to do is I, I want to um, uh, talk about something that's called uh, spacing. And uh, we have 15 of these uh, components uh, that, that we teach. And the first one is a spacing. Now I want you to just think about, this is obviously kind of a small room, but just think about the stage being a triangle, right? And your goal is to work this side of the, the, the triangle, this point right here. Your goal is to stop in the, the middle. And then your goal is also to work this side of the triangle as well. And then if this stage was bigger, you could actually go back into the, the, the last point of the triangle and work the, the, the back point. So your goal is to go ahead and work the whole stage, right? 
And if you do that, what you're going to find is that your audience will be a little more uh, engaged into listening to what you have to say. Next one, I make everything very easy, by the way. All of these components are going to be very uh, simple to learn. The next one is called voice. So when we talk about voice, we have three different voices. How many voices? Three. Three different voices that we want to uh, speak in uh, when, we're, when we're doing the, the public speaking presentation. So the first voice is the high voice. The high voice. That's your preacher voice, your coach voice. That's your... You know, that's where you get a, a little loud, you're firing up the crowd. Then you have your medium voice, and then you have your low voice. So just imagine that that's the high voice, and you draw a line to the middle, that's the, the medium <coughs> voice. Then you got the low voice right there. Have you ever noticed how sometimes, you know, sometimes you're, you know, somebody, maybe somebody made you mad, and you're like, man, I can't, I can't believe it. How could you do this to me, you know? We've been friends since 13. Your voice actually goes down. So by you manipulating your voice into three different voices, it's going to make you come across a little more interesting. Is this making sense so far? Yeah. All right. So, so far we learned about spacing and we learned about voice. And now I'd like to, the next thing that I'd like to teach you is what I really came here to, you know, this is not a Toastmasters class. This is, okay, let's, let's figure out the, the, how do we monetize this, right? Because this is uh, something that, like I said earlier, everybody should uh, include into their marketing mix. So I'd like to teach you how to create your own branded entrepreneur, uh, entre speaker system. So what I want to uh, find out is, you know, how many times you spoke and maybe you didn't uh, articulate your message to where it led to uh, your value proposition. So uh, are you leaving money on the table when you're speaking? You know, I, I used to do a lot of it. Guys, I got to tell you, <coughs> Very, very honest. Uh, uh, I get 90% of all my clients from public speaking of some sort. So this really is something that, that can, uh, can really uh, open up your business uh, in a big way. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at kind of the airplane view, kind of the bird's eye view of the system itself. So right over, I think we have, we got the opener right there. And if you notice, like, how did I uh, open my presentation tonight? Questions. I asked a question, right? I said, uh, how many people like to have more clients, more fun? That is one of the, the best ways to open your presentation is to ask an enrolling question. Now, there is several others, and if you guys, uh, anybody decides that they want to take the training further, we can actually go into uh, several different openers that you can, you can use. But I think questions are um, probably the, the best. You want to give a preview, right? Start off the question, they're engaged. Now you want to give a preview of what you're going to cover. So tonight we're going to talk about the uh, Entre Speaker program, how to create your own Entre Speaker system, how to grow your business from the stage. So you kind of uh, get them get them understanding what you're going to talk about. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to do something that's called the ETA. Now, what does ETA stand for? <laughs> Pretty good. So in public speaking, we call this a uh, uh, earn the right, where you uh, you earn the right to speak about something. It's also your credibility, your uh, vulnerability story. So you want to kind of uh, mix those two up, the, the vulnerability and the credibility. And then you want to go into your points. So you, you just got to uh, pick three, three things uh, from your business that you can educate the audience on. So will this work for any business? Yes. Uh, I've worked with a, 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 a cleaning lady, right? Cleaning lady, and she's like, "Where? Are you? What am I going to talk about later? Like seven secret strategies to a, a, a cleaning your toilet." I mean, there was absolutely nothing that that. So I said, "Look, there's something that you can teach. There's something you can teach. I just need three things." So we found out that she could teach about green products and how to. Uh, clean your home in a safer way. So this could work for any business, but you want to choose three points that you could teach. And then what you want to do after that is, this is the, the part that a lot of people make a mistake on, and by you, by you not including this, it's actually going to, uh, it's not going to match with your uh, value proposition at, at the end. So the seeding is, is very, very important that you plant uh, some seeds that will allow the, the audience, if, if they feel a connection to what you're uh, bringing to the, to, the, to the presentation, to the table, that you, you're creating this opportunity for them to work with you further with whatever uh, business or uh, product that, that you might be marketing. So you, you have to see, and then of course, it's starting to get pretty easy, right? So three points, 
just like you learned in, in, uh, in, in college. It's very, very easy. Then you want to review what you just talked about. And then here's the part that uh, is, I think this is the, the most important part. It's the transition itself. And the transition, there's, there's a couple different ways you could do this. But you notice, how did I uh, do the transition uh, tonight, right? I just said, hey, the next thing that I'd like to teach you, because I, I like to actually teach you and model at the same time, I'd like to teach you how to uh, create your own branded system. So you, that, that last bullet point, it's almost like you're creating a fourth bullet point, right? You got your three points, but then you go into your transition of what your value proposition is. So the last thing I want to teach you is how to create your own branded system, okay? And then you literally go into your offer. What, what it is that you're, that you're bringing to, to the table. You know, in, in, in my case, um, we have a really, really cool uh, program called the Entre Speaker uh, 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 Boot Camp. It's a, a virtual boot camp that we're, we're kind of putting on right now. And um, what I like to do is kind of uh, show you guys just a little bit about it. And then for the people that, that really want to, uh, are more curious about this, we're going to create an opportunity for, for you to do that. So. Uh, let's go ahead and this again. I like to make things very, very simple. So you got five steps here. You got five steps. The first thing you want to do is we want to create that value proposition. So in the Entre Speaker program, we're gonna go, you know, in depth. It's gonna uh, it's gonna take uh, a little bit of uh, uncovering. Now a lot of people already know their value proposition, but if you don't have the the words to match that, just know that we're gonna definitely uh, work with you on that and really create a good uh, opportunity for you to, to learn. So the next thing is the delivery. The delivery we talked about just a couple of things about spacing, we talked about voice, right? So there's uh, other things that you can do like asking questions or maybe uh, there's another one called fill in the blank where you, you know, you say 85% of success is just one thing. It's just showing up. showing up. So you get the audience to fill in the blank and that keeps them a little more engaged. Another one that we did earlier is you get them to move, right? Get them to move. You get sometimes when I speak to, to young uh, middle school students, you, you know they love this part. You know they get to do like the, the, the Toma, P P ninety X, and so you get the audience to move a little bit. And then uh, of course we have to really work on on the intro to make sure that there's a lot of um, credibility and that we structure the, the intro in such a way to where it brings uh, the message, you know, in a way to where people can really relate to what you're where you're coming from. So. Guys, this doesn't have to be perfect, but what I'm showing you is just a formula that you can plug into. And uh, feel free, by the way, if you guys want to uh, take some notes on this. Um, this is something that, again, if you if you apply it, if you apply it, it will work for you. I promise. All right, then the seeding process. Here's where you you plant some uh, seeds, and what I, again, like I said earlier, is like you create an opportunity for the audience to take the the training uh, further if they choose. Uh, you might say, well, hey, this, this whole program is coming straight from whatever, you know, uh, system. And, uh, you know, I, I'd like to, you know, for those of you that want to learn more, you know, we, you know, we don't have time to go into the whole system tonight. But pretty much you, you, you reference some, some of your material from a bigger course. Of course, the transition, we already talked about it. You know, there's a, a, a couple ways that you can do it. I think the best way, the easiest way is just have that, that last bullet point. Just lead into what your transition is. And then I want to encourage everyone here to, to really, really believe that no matter what, look, if I, someone that came here to America, English was a second language, and someone, I admit, I, I still have, uh, you know, I haven't like mastered it yet, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't. But you know what? If I can do it, if I can do it, and I get 90% of my clients like this, this should be a motivation for a lot of people that have more experience and you you know, you really uh, understand uh, how to communicate with people. Believe me, guys, if I could do it, you could definitely do it. So, you know, really um, understand what's, what's being um, uh, presented here tonight because, you know, if you, if you, you, if you kind of understand, like, you know, the, the opportunity, I think that you're going to start to see where this could work for, for your business. So what, what I like to do is uh, what a... Uh, Raise your hand if you would like to have the whole thing uh, written down in, in a nice little summary sheet. Anybody? Okay. All right. So uh, can we get the summary sheets, uh, please? 
This is uh, Timotheus right here. Timotheus is a social media assistant and event photographer. And he's going to go ahead and pass this out. Now while this is uh, being passed out, and you get the summary sheets, this is also an invitation on uh, how to work with me further. You guys remember I promised you earlier that I'm going to create an opportunity to do that. So while that's, uh, that's being uh, passed out, Let's go ahead and kind of uh, uh, get into this and have it all nice and neat right here. So the first thing, first thing is obviously uh, the value proposition, just like we talked about. I'm not going to repeat these steps, but this this is the, the whole system. You're going to see it all over there. And then what I like to do right now is um, I actually want to get you guys to uh, raise your hand. Anybody not have a, a summary sheet yet? Yep, everybody has one. Okay, so what's the biggest, let's say you take this, this uh, idea and you say, all right, I can, uh, I can do this. I can apply this to my business. There's just three points that I got to teach. I just got to transition to a value proposition. So what would be the, the thing that would, the, the missing link almost, right? You figure this out. You figure out how to do the formula. Well, then what do you need after that? You, you need uh, an audience, right? <laughs> so you got to get booked. You got to get up on stage. So what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to invite you to our virtual boot camp. It's, um, it's a, a 10 hour course where we're uh, bringing in the whole uh, Entre Speaker uh, program and it starts on May 16th. And if anybody's saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I might be busy on, on that particular day or that uh, evening, it's, it's gonna be a seven o'clock, seven to 9 p.m. And every step that we have here, we're gonna spend two hours and we space it out uh, two weeks so that you can learn and if you're busy, by the way, then you can uh, everything will be recorded so that you can still email your questions in and you can still be a part of the program. Now, at the end, we bring it all together with a one-day workshop where you get to uh, be up on stage with your, your uh, peers and we're going to have you on camera. And you're walking out, you have a DVD of yourself in action. This is kind of like your, your best hits and you know we, we help you to structure that presentation and to really uh, work on uh, how, how this can be applied to your business. Because, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, do we have any other public speaking coaches? In, we might, actually, no? Okay, so then you want to apply it to, 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 your, uh, to your business. So we show you how to do that. And then, you know, I have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, techniques and secrets to getting booked on stage. And I'm not the best speaker, but I still, I'm able to get booked on stage, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the exact same thing, how to get booked on stage. There's over 2,000 stages that you could speak on right here in Atlanta, and you know we're going to show you. This is a, 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 a package that we normally sell for $700, and it's included in the bonus. If you're one of the fast action takers tonight, and you say, you know what, this is, this is something that I, I want to try out, then this is going to be included into... The, the whole uh, boot camp where you get to figure out you know how to how to uh, get up on stage and present your uh, value proposition and then the first the first uh, three people that sign up uh, tonight that register for this this is something where you kind of feel like I felt when I was 17 years old and I didn't know I just wanted to I said I'm gonna do something about it uh, do something about it and but if you feel that you know you're just kind of uh, uh, your heart's beating a little bit then uh, the first three people that, that register, uh, I'd like to spend a little more time with you and uh, you have a, a bonus one-on-one -on -one call with me. So, okay, so how do you do this and Best how much? It's a fifteen ninety-five program that we're doing specifically for uh, for the net whining uh, uh, event where you can you can sign up literally for uh, for four ninety-nine and it's it's well, we guarantee the investment. If this is something where after the first session you don't think it's it's good, we'll give you the money back. So uh, how do you do it? You literally, you fill out the form and meet me in the back after the presentation. And I would love to answer any questions at that time and give you guys a, a little chance to learn a, a, about myself and also like to learn a little bit more about you, about your business. And um, with that said. I'm number one. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> we got, we got, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and um, does anybody have uh, any quick questions before we turn it over to uh, back to Rich? I need to learn a few things from you, yeah.